Happening today, the Indianapolis City County Council expected to vote on Mayor Joe Hogsett's plan to put new limits on buying and carrying guns. It's aimed at curbing gun violence in the city, but it faces a tough challenge at the State House, even if it passes. CBS 4 Zach Myers is live downtown with a preview of tonight's meeting. Zach, good morning. Melissa, good morning, and we can probably expect more uh, heated, contentious debate over this plan at the council tonight, just like we saw last month, a few weeks ago, when, the, when this uh, plan went before a committee in the council. That's when the Public Safety and Criminal Justice Committee passed the proposal, so the full council will hear it tonight. Proposal 156 would ban semi-automatic assault weapons, raise the purchase age for a gun to 21, and do away with concealed carry and permitless carry in Marion County. Mayor Hogsett says these measures have the support of most Indianapolis residents. The plan also has support from IMPD Chief Randall Taylor, as well as Democrats on the council and groups like Moms Demand Action. However, it faces opposition from Republicans on the council, as well as groups like the Second Amendment Project. I'd like to have bipartisan support. I think parts of the uh, overall uh, ordinance uh, do enjoy bipartisan support. But uh, I hope it passes and passes with uh, a resounding message to the community that we're serious about uh, gun violence and we're serious about getting the guns out of the hands of people who have no legal right to possess them. If the ordinance passes, the biggest challenge would come just a few blocks from here at the state capitol. Indiana has a preemption law that prevents local cities and towns from regulating virtually anything surrounding guns. In order for this ordinance to be enforced, that state law would have to be changed or struck down. And at least one law professor at IU has told us that's unlikely because laws like these have been repeatedly upheld by state and federal courts. Even, though, even so, Mayor Hogsett believes that passing this ordinance would send a strong message about what's right for Indianapolis, even if not for the rest of the state. The council meeting begins at 7 o'clock here tonight. Reporting live downtown, Zach Myers, CBS 4 News.